we've got everybody Rachel and today we have no Thomas or Sam. Yeah, it's a bit quiet. A little bit subdued. But we're here. Um we have got a Tatton Einstein game in mind, or two maybe. We'll see how we Zombie go. Zombie turkeys. Yeah, Jake's... Have you eaten any of these yet? No. Nope. No. So Jake's got... These things say that they are incredibly hot. They're habanero and cucumber flavoured tortilla chips, apparently. How are they? Have you found the hot? How hot? How hot? Well, not hot. <laughs> Do you want a drink? Mm -hmm. Drink. Okay, so we're going to play the uh, Tatung Einstein today. Um, I've had a browse, we've got a few games in mind, and we've got the output to work properly for a change. Look at that! How tidy is that? So I was thinking... <laughs> Are you done? You've got a green face. <laughs> I was thinking we played Pac-Man today. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to be comparing them with the Spectrum version, but we haven't currently got that set. Uh, we could do... Should we compare it with the Spectrum version? We could do an edit, couldn't we? Uh -huh. Yeah? So do we want to play the Spectrum version first or second? First. First. Okay, so we're going to need to do... an. Actually, have we got Jetpack? I don't think we've got Jetpack for the Spectrum. That's a problem. All right, well, we'll just jump into it. We'll do a comparison on another day. So uh, let's take a look. Up it comes. And then after it, then... I'm going to play Pac-Man at some point. Interstellar Explorer. This is another one of these lame knockoff copies, but it's much more difficult. Um, so, up is... Uh, what is up? Q is down. I is up. O is left. P is right. Space is fire. So, Jake, you looking? We've got down, up, left, right, fire. Okay? This is too hard. Well, I'm going to shift over so that I can have a go. Don't start playing videos or games or something. We're supposed to be focused on our channel. It's too hard. It's not too hard. Right, so I need to try and figure out what I'm doing. It's not, oh, oh, uh, left and right is working, but nothing else. I need to try and figure. I need to find out. Uh, oh, come on, give me up. I know I found this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually. None of the controls on this. Ah, I found it. So it's one Q, O, and P. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to kill this guy off so that I can have a proper go. Right, here we go. Uh, it's confusing. You know, we, we could remap the keys on this. We could actually... We could actually change the keys ourselves because it's all just basic programming. So maybe we might have a go at that because Pac-Man was too difficult as well. 
I have to admit, I've had a few goes on this already, and I haven't yet been able to get off that first level. So there you go, I failed dismally. Jake, it's your go. Right, up, down, left, right, fire. Okay. This is up. One is up. Q is down. Ready? Yeah. Go. You've got to get that fuel can. What? It's almost impossible, isn't it? Because the keys are so hard. Yep. You're doing better than I did, though. Oh, you're going to die! Come on! Still your go. All right, I'm taking... Oh. Oh, So that game's impossible, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh... So I'm going to reset the computer and we're going to move on to, oh. Your subscribe, anyone who subscribe. We've got Fade, Flummox, Dad. or Minor. Mm. Fade, Flummox, or Minor. No, we've done that already. Fade, Flummox, or Minor. And Pac-Man's really difficult anyway. It's more difficult than Jetpack on this. Fade, Flummox, or Minor. Which one are we going to play? Should we go in order? Let's have a look at Fade. I have no idea what we're doing here. Two, five, six, invaders. Is this space invaders? Uh... Oh, no, no, I need the instructions. Give me the instructions. I lost the instructions. Uh, it doesn't keep the instructions up long enough for me to read them. Q and P in space. Okay. How do we... How do we start? Push in start. I'm pushing space! Well, I've got off that game. That one isn't working for some reason. So let's check out... Minor. This one's taking a while to load. Okay. Is there any way we should shift you up so that I can actually build the camera? Because it's kind of pointless having a camera if we're not on it. Right, while that... Oh, hello. Uh, minor dick, move by, oh my god, left, what, or, oh, or joystick, joystick, I like a joystick, joystick makes life easier, here we go, Take the keys to the flashing box, it says. Well, that's uh, an instruction and a half. Okay. Uh. All right, how do we start? Another one. Oh, there we go. Uh. Oh. He's not moving. There he goes. Where are they? Oh, I see the keys. Hmm.
Oh, you can't walk into that. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Well, that game's really difficult. Jake, you gonna have a go? Oh, there's one up there. I might be able to get that one. Oh dear. Who designed this game? I've got a key! Where's the flashing box, Jake? I don't know! No, I'm not sure. Is it that thing in the bottom left-hand corner, maybe? But I can't get anywhere near that, because that alien thing is running around. <laughs> hmm. Oh! And it starts from the beginning again. Huh. Well. going to get across there Jake can you see a way no. oh come on you're supposed to be taking part it's too hard. nothing's too hard if you try this is difficult though oh no no oh are you not going to play a game with us? No. no, Jake's not playing a game. All right, so we are going to go back here so that we can talk about the competition. Can you remember the competition? Yes. What was it? What can they win? The Sim Plus. No, no. It's the Atari Flashback, a recreation of the classic uh, 2600 console. We've got one brand new, which... An idiot didn't bring down to the studio today, so I can't show it off. I forgot it. I forgot to bring it. Okay. So, um, you can grab um, tickets to the raffle to get one on the platform raffle. Uh, link has been put down below in the description. Uh, 50 pence per ticket to enter. Give it a go. Uh, the draw happens on Jake's birthday in three weeks. Well, two weeks by the time this comes out. Um, so it's not long, grab your tickets while you still can. And um, what else do we need to talk about? What's the big thing that everybody needs to know about behind you on the top shelf? W.3G. Yeah, W. Do oh, not that one. Uh, where's it gone? Where's the back? Where's the I've lost my button. Where's, my where's the animated button gone? It's gone. Don't push the stop recording button. Um, I've lost the animation button. Uh, if we go back in here, that one. Why is that one not available? Weird. So yeah, go to w.gg where you can use the code RETROJAKE to get 10% uh, off. Dumb Sludge has come back in and there's a new flavour. There's a new formula. They've improved it. We need to try that. Um, and uh, let's have a look at a random, oh, Dragon Age. Dragon Age was nice, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. 
dragon fruit lemonade. Dragon, uh, dragon fruit and uh, strawberry lemonade. That's really nice. Uh, so, shall we carry on and see what else we can find? On. See, now you've stopped the recording, I have no idea how long we've actually made this video for because I don't know how long the first recording was. So, uh, I've completely lost my place now. Uh, let's find the reset button. Whoever decided to put the reset button right next to the power button wasn't really thinking this through. Um, so, we are going to go with Flummox. We haven't looked at Flummox yet. Which looks like a big game because it's got three data files. Why are you watching videos? You're supposed to be making a video. This is so hard. Oh, Jake. Oh, I think I saw this one before. This was one I couldn't figure out. Come on, wanna play the game? Play the game. Is there a pause statement that's holding it up or something? Come on. Pushing all the buttons, nothing's happening. Oh, board. Don't know what was going on with that one. So, ICEM is the uh, only other one on this side of the disc. And then we move over to side B. Written, uh, no, copyright Orion software written by Mark Lawrence. Used keys 1, Q, O, P, and H. Okay. What? On. What? What what am I doing? No. No. What? What What, what was happening, Jake? I'm confused. No. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Elon Musk is an idiot. Oh. Apparently I have the high score. I think you've got to take the glass blocks and push them into the enemies. Mm -hmm. I think. Well, that worked. No, that didn't work. What do I do now? Oh, well, they, they really go for you. Um, how do I move? Tired already. Fresh. Okay. That didn't do anything even remotely helpful. No, I want to find what those tree things do. Okay. Not much. Don't understand what I'm doing. And he got me. This is a weird game. Am I supposed to be getting these things? Oh. 
Come on, Jake, give it a go. Why are we playing the games if you're not going to play the games? Huh? Well, you could talk about everything that we want the viewers to do. John's Patreon. Well, and the address for that is patreon.com forward slash realretro42. And why should they do that? Because what? I have no V-Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jake has no V-Bucks. Um, you get to see the videos a week in advance and any contribution does help to run the channel because we have to keep buying all these games, all these consoles and computers. It's not a cheap channel to run, uh, so any help mm -hmm. is always appreciated. Uh, what else can they do? W we have we've spoken about W already. Go over to W.GG, get yourself a 10% discount. <coughs> It's well worth trying. It's uh, no jitter energy drink, which is actually quite Moorish. Um, what else? I don't know. Does she do? Mm. Like? Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you all in the next one. And um, uh, I'd like to see some comments about games that you'd like us to play. Uh, or contact us if you're doing better than we are. We'd like to see your videos of uh, how you're doing in some of these games. Um, I'll be back next week with another Retro Rewind episode and um, yeah, I think we've pretty much uh, explored this one for today. Um, should we just have a quick peek on the other side of the disc and see what's on there before we go? Because these discs are double-sided. Turn them over. And then you can see what's on the other side. If I can reset it. And these are the games that we'll be playing next time on the Einstein. It's only got one on there. Jake, is it worth our while having a look at the one remaining game so that we finish this disc? What do you think? There's only dark it. Should we give it a quick go? No sense in leaving it half done, is there? Why isn't the program still on? It is, it's loading, give it time. You've been spoiled by fast loading games, I think. You've got to remember these discs are probably about as old as I am. They're probably not reading as well as they used to. Starquake. I don't know if that sounds coming through on the feed or not, but... Okay. Flight computer report. Touchdown imminent. Prepare for mission Starquake. Uh, computer mouth. Function, mouth, mouth, funny thinking. What? Uh oh. Um, it didn't give us any clue. Oh, hello. Um, A does something. Uh, o, P. Oh. I uh, don't know if I've got a fire button or anything. Oh, I have. Um, okay. I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, they got me. Oh. 
Okay, I'm achieving something. I'm not sure what it is, but... Oh. Ah, they got me again. <laughs> this is quite a complicated game. Oh, go away. Get out of here. I seem to be stuck. Oh, I, I, I know. I'll go here. No. Oh. Oh dear, I can't do that. I have no idea what I'm doing, Jake. Just shooting things, basically. And they got me again. So that was bizarre, very odd, but that will do us for today, we've finished a whole disc, there you go. So uh, as Jake said before, leave us a like and a comment, um, let us know what you'd like to see on the channel, uh, make sure to subscribe, go to patreon.com forward slash realretro42 and sign up there so that you can see our videos a little earlier. We'll see you, well I'll see you next week. <laughs>